Hello and welcome to The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. I thought I would record some of this game because, well, why not? I need the practice, I really like this game, and maybe, just maybe, I can produce something interesting, and perhaps even a little bit informative. I'll try to be as helpful as possible, and with little luck, we'll all have an enjoyable time doing it. Feel free to leave any comments as you see fit. Now, this is a brand new save file. Nothing unlocked except for the default Isaac and we'll be playing only on hard mode. So let's just get started. Now the primary goal of this first run is just to beat Mom. We need to unlock the areas after her, and we don't really need to get any further than the sixth floor, Depths 2. So we're not really going to be necessarily min-maxing as much as we would need to if we were going to be pushing on into the womb. We're just gonna try to get to mom's heart, excuse me, to mom's foot, and uh, ooh, nice, pheromones. Get to mom's foot and hopefully have a victory so that on future runs we can get further. And we got a lot of batteries here. This would be very nice if we could find, well, a spacebar item. Something like the Book of Revelations, which I'm pretty sure we do not have unlocked yet on this brand new save file, would be really good. It would give us some spirit hearts, and with those spirit hearts we could go down to the basement too. Hopeful that we would not take any damage and get the deal with the devil. Because if we can get a very early deal with the devil on the second floor, we, that puts us into a good position to exchange our health for some really good equipment and hopefully have an easier time with the catacombs, well not catacombs, with the caves and the depths. Now monster on the first floor is pretty easy. We're gonna get monster's tooth from beating him and Hopefully we don't take any damage. Since this is a new save file, there's no basement boys unlocked yet, so if we can get those, that'll be just a benefit, but it's not necessarily a requirement. The only requirement from this run is just to get to mom. And hopefully if we can get a bunch of money, we can donate to the donation machines and start unlocking all of those important shop upgrades. Being able to have additional items in the shop is going to be extremely helpful in all of our future runs. Even in my own save file, I only have a few hundred cents in the donation, mach donation machines, which seems like a lot, but since they go up to 999, there's still a lot of work to go. So Magic Scab, HP plus Luck Up, it's a pretty good upgrade because it's not just HP. But uh, I don't think we really need the HP. We need Spirit Heart so that on the basement two we can avoid taking Red Heart damage and hopefully get deals with the Devil. We got hit here, but... Um, I'm not terribly worried about any spirit heart damage, and especially not on the first floor, because I'm, I'm pretty sure you can't get a deal with the devil on the first floor. But hey, Martyr! Blood of the Martyr damage up is a fantastic upgrade to get in your item room. Anything that just gives you straight up damage is okay in my book. Just thought we'd play him for one penny. We're not going to do much with that money anyways. It's going to take a lot more than one cent to make a donation machine worthwhile. So that was a pretty good first floor, better than average I would expect, with the HP plus the damage upgrade. You don't often just get a damage upgrade straight up from your item room, so I'm very happy about that. Now with a arcade machine here, that we don't have any money, so there's no reason to play it. We have no bombs, we can't blow it up. So if we come across bombs, maybe we will come back later, but until then... We are going to look for our item room, which is right here, and hopefully pick up some good equipment from this. Our spirit hearts are going to protect us for that all-important deal with the devil on the basement, and this fly, if he could come this way so I could kill him, would be nice. The item room contains the black bean, which is not the best item. I would have preferred almost anything other than that, other than poop. But hey, it's a passive. When we, whenever we get hit, we will fart poisonous gas clouds, so it's not terrible. And hey, a surprise under that rock, a little ladder. Let's see where it leads. It leads to the jump button. And you'll find these ladders underneath random rocks on the level, and we have picked up the jump button for free, which, as the name implies, allows us to jump. We can jump over obstacles and 
obtain uh, hopefully some more items without having to need the ladder or flying. So Larry Jr. on the first floor is, or excuse me, on the second floor boss fight is very common and I'm I'm expecting to be able to come out of this without taking red heart damage, but Larry Jr. is tricky. His movements are unwieldy, it, unpredictable, so it's hard to actually um, get close to him and avoid taking damage. So that's Monster's Tooth, not from the monster fight, but from beating the basement. My bad. We picked up Caffeine Pill, which is a speed up, size down. The size down isn't terribly important. I guess size down because we're thinner. Our little model there. Uh, and we picked up a pill from that, which is nice. So now we get the options of the pack and flying, which is uh, Lord of the Pit. I want to take the pact. The damage upgrade is useful. And I kind of want to take Lord of the Pit for flying. The pact gives us two spirit hearts, so we will have three and a half spirit hearts, which I believe will be plenty to keep us going through the rest of this run. We only need to get to mom, so we don't really need to worry about long-term health. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pick up the pact first. There's our spirit hearts. I'm going to pick up Headless Baby and then pick up Lord of the Pit. Because first of all, that unlocks Azazel from having three deals with the devil, and second of all, that doesn't kill us. Even though we only had one red heart container, we can take a deal with the devil that is worth two red hearts with no penalties. So we did that, and now we have Headless Baby as well as Flying and the Pact. So we're going to be able to deal a whole lot more damage than we were earlier and be able to fly as well. So I'm very happy with that deal with the devil. That was pretty darn good, all things considered. The pill is Puberty, which as far as I can tell does literally nothing. We're killing the red flies in one shot. We're killing these single bullet flies in two shots in the ground in the uh, double bullet flies in two shots as well which is pretty good we can still use the jump button but there's not really much of a need to we'll just use it now for getting ourselves out of sticky situations jump button not really my favorite item to get it doesn't really offer you that much you can get a few additional consumable items but other than that it's just kind of worthless we're in the caves one, three and a half spirit hearts. We can fly so we can pick up the key and black heart there and unlock Lazarus. Lazarus is an interesting character. He's okay. He doesn't really have that much of a benefit or a negative compared to Isaac. So he's just kind of just another character. Zazzle though, Zazzle is a powerhouse, absolutely overpowered and some damage there, but we're okay still. Absolutely overpowered. And I love him for it. So, Cursed Skull, which I never take it, and I'm not going to take it, I'm just going to pick it up so that we have had taken it in this save file. Cursed Skull, whenever you get hit and you have half a heart or spirit hearts, it will teleport you. So that is an awful item. You could be on the end of a boss fight, take one point of damage, and then just teleport out of it and have to restart from the beginning. It is an awful item. And you should never ever take it, because <laughs> it is garbage. We're just gonna fight our boss immediately. We are very strong, and this is just Mega Maw, which is a very easy boss, all things considered. The gate is significantly harder than Mega Maw. You just kind of stand up by the in the corner here, and you just shoot at him, avoid the fires, keep shooting at him. He can't really do much to you. He just spits out these little hoppers who just kind of ineffectually jump around the other side of the level. And we picked up Synth Oil, damage plus range up. Bring on the damage, I say. I love damage, and we are going to probably absolutely wreck this first run here. I don't really see anything stopping us. The only thing that could stop us is health. If we take a lot of damage and we can't heal because we don't get any spirit heart drops, we'll be in a, a tough spot. But as long as we don't take damage, we'll be fine. And of course, that seems a little bit obvious, but hey, in our situation, it applies a little bit more than your other runs might because we only have blue hearts. We cannot lose these blue hearts. And in the item room, we have Bob's Curse for plus five poison bombs. It's honestly not that good of a pickup, especially in our particular case. We don't care really about bombs. We just want to 
We just want damage, we want things that help us defensively and offensively, and bombs don't really synergize with anything we have, we don't really care about them. It's still nice to have, you know, we can spend some bombs and blow up these mushrooms and maybe get some pills out of it. We can maybe find some secret rooms, but, uh, you know, if we we're gonna get bombs to look for the secret room, why not just get pyro, you know what I mean? Poison bombs are, uh, are good for when you have bomb synergies happening, and we don't have that. So I am going to spend half of a spirit heart to go in here and check out these red chests. One contains spiders, but one contains two pills, and those pills are paralysis, which is meaningless, and luck down, which honestly doesn't mean all that much. Let's pull up some of these mushrooms, though, and look for another pill and a liberty cap, which should give us a little bit more damage on random rooms and various other mushroom effects. We use that other pill which just dropped a bunch of red hearts, which really doesn't matter in our case because we can't pick them up at all. Maybe if we get an HP up at some point we can use them, but I'm going to fight in this mob trap room because why not? We're very strong, we have a ton of damage, we can fly. These, uh, these individual rooms don't really have much to defend themselves with against our onslaught of power right now. We're doing a ton of damage. And now we're going to be fighting Pride, a ridiculously easy mini-boss here. To stay out of the way of his little shriek there, we pick up Justice, which gives us a bomb, a key, a scent. We could go down to the shop, but I don't think it's worth it yet at this point. Try to find the secret room, and we found it. Let's give a key to him, and we'll just blow him up too. Secret rooms, very easy to find. You just look for a spot on the map that has three rooms adjacent to an empty spot. So a secret room could be here if you're just looking at the map, but in actuality, a secret room can never, ever, ever be across a gap like this. All the sides of the secret room have to be reachable. So a secret room could never be down below this room that we're in right now. It could only have been in that one room that we blew up. So you can kind of use that information on future runs, future floors, to identify where the secret room could possibly be by eliminating spots where it can't be. So these little wall huggers here, annoying as heck, but you can fly. They're not really a problem. They're not brims shooting brimstone at us, so... This little bony room here is, uh, can be a little bit difficult if you can't fly because you're kind of stuck in a very small area having to deal with them. These little turret monsters here are ridiculously annoying to deal with. They're not hard, they're just annoying. They can be hard on certain runs. We're going to use Justice and hey, we pick up a dime, which is top of the line. We're going to go to our shop, see if we can buy anything here, and we just... It's actually not our shop, it's actually just a extra room with some tarot cards. Hangman, we can fly, don't need that. Chariot, Judgment, Devil. We'll take the Devil with us. If we find the boss room, we can use it and make absolutely quick work out of the boss. Take out these mobile turret guys. Annoying as all heck. You're still alive? There we go. He dropped a battery. We're still on the lookout for a better spacebar item. The jump is kind of worthless when you can fly. I mean, it is still... Whoa, that actually jumped us backwards. I'm trying to use jump and... Oh, I see, I see. So you can't even use the jump power when you can fly over a gap. It will just jump you only on land. So you can jump, but only to land. So... I guess the jump is just broken when you're flying, is the key to take away from here. Mom's Pearl, though, is a better trinket than the mushroom. It gives us uh, better chances of getting spirit heart drops, I believe. Look down, we're not going to take that, but we are going to shoot all this poop. If we can get some extra money, I would love to donate as much as I can to the donation sheet machine on this run. Hopefully get some of those early shop upgrades. It's a little bit... A little bit costly in time, but it's definitely worth it. 
And hey, a spirit heart. We can't uh, be f sure that that was because of Mom's Pearl, but hey, I feel I feel good in my decision to take it now because now we actually have enough spirit hearts that we can in fact take a deal with the devil for spirit hearts and still live, which I might do. Um, depending on the item, of course, it might just be worthwhile to take it. Hopefully, though, we just get a HP upgrade from the boss and we can exchange that immediately for another deal with the devil. So these guys, not a problem. They shoot very frequently, and on the later levels, they have homing shots, which is incredibly annoying. I'm not sure what I got hit there. I guess I got hit by the fly. And that pill was a bad trip, which is awful, because now it means that we are under our, our three spirit heart limit for taking a deal with the devil. So hopefully we get an HP upgrade. And not only that, but our health is slowly decreasing. We need to be wary of that, because we don't want to die. So this is the Fallen. We are absolutely going to use the devil card here. And I don't think he's going to be alive for much longer. Took a little bit of damage, but... It's not red heart damage, and the Fallen is a little bit tricky. Little Chubby has appeared in the basement, and we get the Book of Belial, which is definitely better than the jump button when you can fly. Or how to jump when you can fly. We still need to find our item room and our shop. We have 19 cents. I'd love to be able to buy some things. These wall masters being a little bit annoying, but when you can fly, they're pretty easy to take down. Now these three-shot wall masters don't actually track you, they just move left, right, or up and down semi-randomly. So they're a little bit easier to take care of. Now our shop contains Greed, which... I'll you go ahead and use the Book of Belial, why not? Um, greed is actually not a bad thing to fight right now. He's gonna drop a ton of money, which I'm thinking could mean some great donations happening. If we could get ourselves up to, uh, I think 10 cents gives us the first upgrade, but if we can get ourselves up to, you know, 50 cents on the first run, that puts us in a great position for later. And we have a double locked door here. I'm very curious to see what's inside of it, but... I was going to say we don't have any way of getting inside of it, but with two of spades we can double our keys. And we can absolutely get inside there. So there's a tinted rock there, gave us some more bombs. And here we get Common Cold for poison damage. I'm not the biggest fan of damage over time items, but they are still technically damage upgrades, so I really shouldn't complain, should I? It's a damage upgrade. Damage upgrades are almost always worthwhile. And in here we picked up a 2, which I'm not sure what it does, but I'm pretty sure it rerolls stuff, so... Let's just use the 2 reroll and see if any of our items have changed. Nope, that must mean that the two only re-rolls the item that you are in. So only the two room. But that's okay, we didn't really need it for anything. We picked up a couple of extra bombs from it. And we can just continue on to the next floor. Feeling pretty good about this run. This is a, this is a decent run to go down to Satan with or to go down to the room with after Mom. But unfortunately, we can only go up to Mom's foot and then stop. Go ahead and just use the uh, use the magician card. There's no reason not to use it. It's not that good of a card. I will fight through this room. Two red chests could mean some extra health. And hey, dead cat nine lives does in fact mean extra health. We pick that up. We go immediately to one red heart container, even if we don't have one red heart container. So there we go, we picked up some extra health, we have 9 lives, so we have an extra bit of survivability in case things go horribly long, horribly wrong, excuse me. But it also means that if we do find a deal with the devil, we can take as many items as we want. It doesn't matter if we die, really, if we only have one red heart. So if we can kill ourselves on a deal with the devil, respawn with one red heart, we'll have some extra health and some extra deal with the devil items. We'll have to, uh... We'll have to make that decision when it occurs, because, again, we don't necessarily need to make a ton of deal with the devils. We are only going to have to be able to go to mom anyways. We're going to be able to to stop this run after that point, so, you know, maybe we just want to keep our extra health. 
just to make sure that on this run we can succeed on mom's foot which honestly I don't think is going to be much of a problem because we are we're powerful we're not overpowered but we are very powerful right now play that once I don't want to play the um, the arcades too much because our primary objective right now is just to donate ghosts a little bit annoying but not too bad when there's only a couple of them when you get into rooms that have eight of those guys they are a pain to deal with leaper is a bit of a problem but we can fly we don't have to worry about these gaps in the floor that would make this a pain in the ass of a room we picked up a free spirit heart I am happy about that to be sure So we still have the item room and the shop to go on this floor. We have four keys, so we have our opportunities for this floor and next floor look good. Pajama hoppers you don't see very often on this room. This is a little tricky and would be even more so hard if you could not fly. I cannot imagine you getting out of this without taking damage if you couldn't fly. This is like a death room if you can't fly. And even when I can fly, I run into the fires a little bit. But hey, that wasn't terrible. We still have spirit hearts. We can hopefully still get that deal with the devil. If we get one. There's, there's no guarantee that we would get one. These little haunts aren't that much of a problem. We can just kind of hang by the wall. I don't know what hit us there. I'll be perfectly honest. Uh, and we got the pill bottle. An okay item, but I would rather just stick with Book of Belial. Luck up is okay. I'm not going to complain. It'll help us get a little bit of better deals from arcades and theoretically better drops from your rooms. But we don't need to worry about that too much because we have all the consumables that we will need for the rest of this run. Now I could be spending time looking for secret rooms, but we're, we're strong. So I don't feel the need to spend a lot of time looking for secret rooms. More often than not, you would either look for secret rooms when you need more power, when you are having a slightly worse run than normal, or when you just want to be extremely overpowered. Maybe you'll find some extra extra heart containers in the form of eternal hearts, or maybe you will just find some extra money, bombs, or keys, some free items. What is... There's a spider in the corner. Okay. I was hoping the game wasn't glitched out. I've had it glitch out on boss rooms before. Uh, deal with the devils up here. And we only get three red chests, which is honestly kind of garbage. But we get a couple of pills. Hemptomesis and speed down, which honestly our speed is okay. I'm not too mad about that. It could have been a lot worse. Health down, actually health down would have been a lot better because it would have just turned into a health up pill. If you only have one heart and you get a health down pill, it's actually a health up pill. So we're going to go to our shop really quickly and then head out to the next floor. Flying makes these rooms pretty easy, but I'm still taking some dumb damage. But again, I think we'll be okay. We only need to make it to the next floor, and we should be good. I am going to pick up BOGO bombs just to have it, really, and I am going to donate 6 cents. We want to make sure we have 15 cents for the next floor. And we also don't want to... Uh, I'm going to blow up these heads. Picked up Temperance, which is a blood bank, and two of hearts. So you know what? Sure. Temperance. Hematomesis. Hey! Ivy bag immediately! I'm going to spam some extra money here. Really was not expecting that to work, but getting an Ivy bag... It's pretty nice. A blue map has appeared in the basement for... I can't tell if that was 10 cents. I think that was 10 cents. In which case, I'm slightly upset that we could not go for longer. <laughs> I wanted to have uh, put as much money as possible in the donation machine, but... Oh well. It's not about the war. Um, it's not the battle, it's the war. It's going to take a long time to get 999 cents in that donation machine. We're not going to do it all in one run. 
even though that would be really cool. So I am just going to these rooms right before we leave the floor. I just want to make sure we don't pass anything truly outstanding by. Uh, something like a double locked room that contains a die roll. That could be fun. I do like the die rooms. I do love re-rolling your run, even if you have a good run, just to see what happens with it. Just to see what some of the synergies of items you can get are. So I will almost never pass that up unless I have a very clear objective in mind. I I might actually pass it up now that I think about it because we really just need to get to mom, beat mom, so that on subsequent runs we can go down to the, to the womb. Now I am taking a little bit of damage. We don't have that much health remaining. We picked up a golden key, which is nice. I'm going to use it with a Belial fighting lust here. Just got to run away from her. You'll be fine. We picked up another Hematomesis, which does us absolutely no good with only one red heart, but maybe if we find another blood bank, I can play it some more. Just like we did on the last floor and pick up another IV bag, maybe unlock the blood bag, because it is not unlocked by default anymore. These guys are not a problem at all. Item room contains punching bag, which is a rather good item. I like punching bag, especially on the earlier levels. On the later levels, I find that he kind of gets in the way more than he helps, but um, but it's a good item. It's a good item to see. Basically, monsters will attack him instead of me if he's near them. So you see that bony, and those bonies are just kind of shooting the punching bag here, which means that they're not shooting me, which means that I can get around them, get a few extra shots in. It doesn't work when you're closer than punching bag here. But it's still pretty good. Blow up that tinted rock, get a spirit heart out of it. Hopefully uh, make sure we have a deal with the devil. This is this is the depths too, actually, so we're not, we're not going to get any more deals with the devil. We're, we're done with the devil deals. We're only going to be fighting mom, and then this run will be over. I do want to vis visit the shop, though. I'm pretty sure the donation machine is going to still be broken, but maybe we can pick up an extra item, you know. I am also going to go to the curse room, because why not? I guess that's why not. We only lost out on that room. But hey, blowing up these fires gives us a spirit heart, which we immediately almost completely lose because we got hit by that fire. Which is just me being dumb. Don't do what I do. And see, that's why... That's why the scapegoat can be a little bit awful sometimes, because I believe that the enemies are going to be shooting me. They instead shoot scapegoat, and I dodge right into their shots. Luckily, I for some reason, didn't get hit there. But in a situation like this, scape the scapegoat is very nice because these headless guys here are just going to be focusing on him. They're not going to be moving in towards me. But uh, in certain situations, you can, you can take some damage from scapegoat. These wall masters are annoying, but not difficult. Just keep walking backwards and watch out for that shadow. An extra black heart, which is nice, and a awful shop because we have nothing unlocked anymore. Blow up that guy, see if he drops anything. He doesn't. And blue spike room is a bit annoying, but we made it out of there. And that's it. We've picked up everything from our item room, everything from our shop. There is nothing left on this run except to fight mom and unlock the womb. How did I take damage there? I don't understand how I take damage sometimes, but maybe that's just me being an idiot. Okay, that was my bomb somehow traveling backwards and hitting me, which I don't... I'm not a big fan of, let's be honest. These skeletons, we're just going to toss a bomb in there. We have them. We're not going to really use them on the mom's fight, because they will... They have a better chance of damaging us than they do of damaging mom, let's be fair. And we're almost done here. Punching bag, drawing the aggro from these guys makes it so that it is very easy for me to just take them down into their ooze state. But then occasionally they will just stop attacking punching bag. If he, uh, I don't know if it's time-based or if he takes enough 
hits of damage that they will no longer be directed towards the punching bag, but you know, it, punching bag is a strange item. I, as I said, I'm I'm not sure if I like him on the later floors. On the earlier floors, he's a absolute godsend. He will help you to take significantly less damage by just drawing the enemy fire, but on the later levels, I kind of just... It affects my dodging too much. I dodge into him, or into the shots that are aiming for him instead of away from the shots. So we're just going to go ahead and use the death card. This fight should be pretty easy. I don't expect too many problems, except we are taking damage. We have nine lives though, so I think I think I'll have nine shots at this and be able to do it, but we are tearing through now with this damage. And this fight is... Done. His mother, fueled with the desire to serve her god, was bearing down on Isaac. I will do as I am told, my lord. I love you above all else, Isaac's mother repeated to herself. This was the end of the line for Isaac. His mother was far too strong for him. But just as he accepted his fate, God intervened sending an angel down from above to stop his mother's hand. And just like that, it was over. And just like that, we've unlocked the womb, as well as some challenges. The purists, the harbingers are loose, we've unlocked a cube of meat and a ball of bandages. And that's it, we have beaten mom. So that's going to be it for this first episode here. This is just to get into the habit of maybe doing this a little bit more, get some practice doing it. So um, hopefully we'll have some entertaining, informative, inquisitive runs where we show off some amazing synergies and have some fun with the Binding of Isaac Rebirth. So thank you for watching if you've made it through this far, and I'll see you next time.